Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I've got another really exciting episode for you and it's all about the Grim Reaper fishing lures again. In this video I am headed out with Dean from Grim Reaper Lures in Matata. We're doing a bit of boat fishing, fishing only with those Grim Reaper lures. Really? Big white squid. Look at that guys. Got a new species on the Grim Reaper. Check this out. Alright guys, let me tell you what happened on that day. We were camped up at the Matata dock campsite for a couple of days for a bit of camping and fishing and also for filming the Grim Reaper lure machine and meeting up with Dean and then Dean asked me if I want to go out fishing with him uh, the next day, which was really exciting. So I got up pretty early, we got out there 6 a.m. in the morning. So you can only launch the boat there at high tide and come back at high tide, otherwise the river mouth is getting too shallow. I met Dean at the boat ramp at 6 a.m. and we launched the boat there and we headed straight out. We had a really nice calm day which is not that usual in this area and the bar crossing went quite easy. So at low tide there isn't much water here? Uh, there's plenty of water here, it's yeah. down there. You can't get over the bar? Yeah, even just getting out to the map. Yeah, yeah. Much more comfortable than my little inflatable. Hard to tie this behind your caravan, though. Yeah, yeah. Dean has a couple of secret uh, fishing spots. He's been marking his spots where he's been catching fish. So we were headed straight to these spots. There's lots of structure actually on that beach, which is um, surprising. I thought it was all sandy, but there are little uh, patches of seaweed. There are little uh, patches of rocks down there. They're all really good uh, snapper holding structures. And I think that's why Matata is itself is such a popular destination for fishing. All right, guys, we picked the spot and now we're gonna check out some of the Grim Jeep, uh, Grim Reapers, Grim Jeep. Now we, uh, oh, what's that there? I thought it was a now we're gonna check out some of the Grim Reapers and uh, put them to the test. Yeah, so we were cruising the, around the, the area and dropping our Grim Reaper lures. We started with different colors and on pretty much the second cast I caught this big fish here. So it's rolling. Oh, it's a good one. It feels pretty heavy. What depth do we have here? It was pretty easy on the pink jig. So, and it's a, it's a good one too, guys. It's a really good fish. Just gotta bring him up a little bit slowly. Oh, <laughs> he's pretty, running, that's a good <laughs> fish. Oh, I'm on two. You're on two? Oh, man. Oh. oh, he's pretty heavy. He's pretty heavy. It's got the head shakes of a snapper, guys. Yeah, there's the proof in the pudding. The Grim Reapers. We've only been fishing for five minutes. Oh, there he comes. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, good fish. Oh, it's a poor eye. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it. I never caught one of those on a jig. Ooh, that's a poor eye, guys. I've seen heaps of them spear fishing. Check this out. I really like them to eat. I think they're like a terakee. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Stunning colors. Iridescent blue are on the top Be of the head there. Beautiful fish, mate. Nice. Check that out. I never caught a poor eye before on a lure. That's so awesome. Uh, do you want to keep it or should we yeah. release it? No, we'll keep yeah? it. Yeah. yeah. Like good eating. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> First fish, awesome, and a poor eye. Let's get the next one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was fishing at um, Spirits Bay up in the north and I met a spearfisher there and he came back super proud and said, oh, he shot this big ass snapper. I said, that's not a snapper, that's a poor eye. But he didn't believe me. He actually believed it was a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they, they look uh, very much like a snapper. Eh? Yeah. yeah, just Tip those. The juju lips. The big lips, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they are similar species to the blue mopies. Yeah. Surprised that they go after those chicks, eh?
That is exactly what I need on my uh, Aquamarina. <laughs> ice bottles and the water. Get a bit of a slurry here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as cold as salt ice slurry, but it's cold enough to keep them in good condition. Yeah, well, the fish you catch earlier in the morning when you get home, they're, they're good and solid and set. So sometimes I'll clean the boat, clean everything up before I start filleting so the fish have a chance to set. Yeah, yeah. I changed the location. Got a few fish showing up on the fish finder now. All right, better drop the jig quickly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, look at that. I've got to show that on the camera. That's, a, that's massive. There's some serious fish down there. Fast moving fish, probably carway. Maybe there's some snapper down below. Could be trevally eh, as well. Could be I'd be keen on some trevally. 23 meters now. And I'm just sort of trying to get them let them sink down to the bottom and then I them I reel them up quickly for a meter or two. That often works pretty good. Up oh, on nice work. Just on the drop. Let the bail arm open and I took it while it was fluttering down. You gotta be careful when they take it on the drop because you just feel a bit of a slack yeah. line for a short moment. Yep. And uh, next minute they're on. These keeper hooks, they work really good, man. Yeah. You see how they take the top hook? Before I took the bottom hook. Yeah, yeah. Hook, nearly always take the top hook. Small guy, so he can go back home. But man, these jigs work really good. Second fish in such a short time. Yeah, and I'm surprised actually that the poor eye got hooked at the little treble hook here. I didn't think that they actually follow those lures. And yes, you've just seen the snapper, they get hooked here. They sort of grab the lures sideways or head on. Well, that's some pretty exciting fishing this morning. Oh, I got another one. He's on. Pink again. Pink is the time of the day, huh? <laughs> Even though down at 20 meters, like you said, like red and pink is actually, you know, the first colors Invisible. that go. Yeah. But being a UV color, I wonder if that... Yeah, possibly, aye. They don't so much see the color as it was. Unfortunately, it's a small one again. Hopefully we get onto something a little bit bigger. Good to see lots of uh, small snapper around, though, because they'll be growing up soon. Boom, off it goes. Yep, definitely the color of the day. What I also like to do sometimes when they're like on the bottom, just do like this, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> like that. <Yeah. laughs> yep, on again. I think it's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to put a pink on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, the moment it hit the bottom. Yeah. So. You got one? Yep. Cheers, we changed to the pink one and boom. Dean is on. Good one or a small one? It's probably gonna be legal. <laughs> Funny how the color of the day is quite specific. Oh, that's actually a better one. Oh, well done. You got a first legal one. Yay. Check that out. Here yeah, we got the pink jig. Oops. Nice. And as soon as Dean switched to the pink jig, straight on. Straight on. <laughs> it was amazing. He was fishing with the uh, orange one before. It shows you how much the color plays a role on a day. Yeah. Bright day. So you have to have a couple of different colors to sort of match the hatch, basically. That's exactly it. Match the hatch. And then from then on, it was pretty much snapper after snapper on each cast, on each drift. Yeah. That's a lot of white water. I wonder why. See in the water on the horizon, every now and then there'll be like big white splashes. Oh, really? Big white splashes. What could that be? Big white splashes on the horizon.
Wow. What is boiling? Look at this. Amazing. That's not cow by the way. They didn't like it. <laughs> the fish just going down like that. Just cast the lure at them and boom, gone down. Amazing. They didn't mind the boat at all. No. You cast the lure. <laughs> just, just one cast and maybe I shouldn't have cast it straight in there. Oh, I would have. But yeah, yeah, it's a bit strange. But that is a, is a big school of whatever it is. Another little guy. Yeah, yeah. But on the orange and yellow. Okay. It was on the passive right this time. We got so many snappers. Most of them were pretty small. After my big catch, I was a bit unlucky catching mostly small snapper. But Dean, he pulled in quite a few pennies and we ended up with a big catch and a big feed of snapper. We fished at the best bite times, of course. Dean also believes in the bite times, and if you guys wanna check out those bite times and support us and our channel, then you gotta head over to fishingreminder.com. This is our website, and it predicts the best bite times all over the world, all over New Zealand. Anywhere you go, you can pick your location. You find the bite times, you find the tide times, and you will also find the fishing weather. And we got a really cool feature coming up soon, so when you subscribe for free, you'll be the first one to see that feature coming up. Anyway, it was an awesome day out there. I loved going out with Dean, and thanks so much, Dean, for taking me out there this morning and experiencing the thrill of fishing with these Grim Reaper lures. I think the UV color coding on these lures now makes a big difference and snapper just can't resist it. And as Dean's been telling me, he's been catching pretty much anything on these lures from Gurnot, Snapper, Kawai, anything that swims in the water there. Those lures are awesome. So make sure you check out the link in the description to also contact Dean if you're interested in those lures. They'll be available in shops soon as well, but you can also contact Dean directly and order some from him. And by doing this, you support a local business here in New Zealand and lures that are locally made are way more sustainable as all these mass-produced lures imported from overseas. All right, everybody, we made it back to shore. Had a fantastic morning here with Dean. Thanks so much for taking me out this morning. You're welcome, awesome. Mark. That's awesome. Great, great adventure out there. Yeah. And we caught all the fish with uh, the Grim Reaper lures. We didn't use anything else. So we got a whole bunch of snapper. Dinner's definitely sorted there. <laughs> and we got a nice foray. Check this out. Awesome catch. I was really good out here on the stabby craft as well. Now the wind's picking up, so we just made it back just at the right time before it's getting a little bit too choppy out there. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and stay tuned. We got some really nice stuff coming up soon. We met with another local in Matata, and we'll be showing you a bait cannon soon. And this thing is very, very exciting, something you might not have seen before. So yeah, make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification icon as well so that you get the updates when, when this video comes out next. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you on the next one. Awesome. Cheers. See ya.